I want to uh, welcome everyone to our June 2nd, 2016 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. If you would, bow your heart heads. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the gifts we receive from you. We ask that you watch over the men and women who serve in our armed forces, as well as all of our emergency responders. I ask for wisdom and understanding for this court. Grant us humility in our everyday life and give us the courage to make right decisions for our Davis County community. We ask all these things in your name. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Once again, I wanna welcome everyone to our uh, June 2nd, 2016 Davis County Fiscal Court meeting. Jenny, are you ready? Item one, consideration for presentation A, Treasurer's Report for April 2016. Mr. Hendricks. Cash balance at the end of April is 28,770,567. The general fund is 13,316,116. And as we head toward the end of the fiscal year, I can report that uh, all the balances are coming in as anticipated or even better. So I think we're looking real good through the end of the year. Any question or comment by the commissioners? There being none, this is just a report. So next item, Jenny. Two, consideration for approval. A, minutes of the May 19th, 2016 court meeting. Move to approve. Thank you. I have a motion second. Commissioners, you've all had a copy of the minutes in your packet for some time. Any co corrections, deletions, or additions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. B, all claims for all departments. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion second. Again, commissioners, you've had a copy of all the bills due and payable by Davis County Fiscal Court. Uh, you might note this month it was particularly thick uh, it seemed like I spent all day signing my little wrist away, but that was because of the, all the election checks that we had to write. Isn't that correct, Mr. Treasurer? It is correct. $150. Yes. $150. $150 per $150. check for, for, per uh, poll worker. So if there are no questions of the treasurer, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. C, budget transfers for fiscal year ending June 30, 2016. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Mr. Hendricks. Gentlemen, this is an exercise that we do in usually the two meetings in June as we head to the end of the fiscal year. Per our accounting regulations, we are not allowed to finish any expense line where that expense amount is greater than the amount that was budgeted. Obviously, we can't project all expenses exactly, so some will be a little over, some will be under. And those that are over budget, I have to find a transfer, which we'll, we'll find an account that's way under, take it from that, move the budget number over, or we'll take it from the reserve. Whereas in the case of the $500,000 for the OCTC project, the Advanced Technology Center, court approved that after the budget was uh, approved last year, Therefore, it's not in the budget. The court did approve the expense, so it has a zero budget, so now I'm transferring an amount out of the reserve into that line so that the, there's a sufficient amount on the budget line as well as the actual line. So I've reviewed all these transfers. I can report to you that uh, they're either approved by the court, they were offset by revenues, such as, as a grant money, uh, they were a planned expense, or they are being offset by another account within that depart department. So uh, even though the numbers may look a little huge, the bottom line is they're okay, they're typical, and they do not change the total budget for that fund. The, the total that you had budgeted remains the same. These do not affect it. These are not spending on top of that budget, they're expending within the budget. So with that, I would ask approval to make the, the budget transfers as listed, uh, $1,310,800 for the general fund, $49,500 for the road fund, $184,500 for the jail fund, $300,000 for the construction fund, uh, $1,150,200 for the solid waste fund, and I will have another round of those at the next meeting. 
I was about to ask, this isn't the end of it, but this should be the majority. It is. It's, of, it's, the, 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 it's the crux of right. this. Question or comment by the commission? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. D, temporary construction easements with Roby Road property owners. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion second. Uh, Mr. Brasher, do you want to talk to us about this? Yes, or, sir. Or is it called? You can talk to us, can't you? I, th yeah. I think so. Okay. Uh, we're in the process of replacing the bridge deck uh, uh, on Roby Road, the short section. Uh, for us to do that, it's a dead-end road, so uh, we have to build a diversion to allow for the residents at the end of this road to have access and the uh, farmer. Uh, so these easements are uh, what I'd like to meet uh, with the property owners uh, hopefully <coughs> next week to discuss and see if we can get permission to put the diversion on their private property uh, for approximately two weeks. That'll give us time to remove the existing bridge deck and, and put back in its place a new one or... We have uh, some uh, uh, beams on, on our lot that we'll be using, right. so they'll be used, but uh, they'll be new to this place. Okay. Question or a comment by the commission? Question or comment by the public? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Next item, Jenny. E, special events agreement for romp with the International Bluegrass Music Museum. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion second. Mr. Lee, you're here to tell us how well it worked last year, how much better it's going to work this year, and any changes that we might have in the agreement. Uh, yes, Judge. Uh, tonight we present to you for your consideration and, and approval the agreement with the International Bluegrass Music Museum uh, for the use of Yellow Creek Park uh, to be able to accommodate the use of uh, for the, the event uh, referred to as Romp 2016. Uh, with us uh, tonight is the museum's executive director, Chris Jocelyn, uh, their assistant director, Carly Smith, and ROMP site coordinator, Joe Biddle. Um, they would be happy to entertain any questions um, with uh, regards to the event. Uh, there has been. Did you say site, S I T E, or psych? Both. Okay, that's what I wondered. Yeah. Um, so essentially the, the event is 20 days uh, from where we are now uh, and uh, there has been an extensive amount of work done. Uh, the agreement uh, has been uh, reviewed by County Attorney Claude Porter. Um, it does include the costs associated with security being provided by uh, Davis County's uh, Sheriff's Office. Um, it also uh, takes into an account the uh, secure the excuse me the emergency plan which is probably uh, what has been uh, reviewed the most within the last uh, week to 10 days uh, carly has spent an extensive amount of time uh, developing an emergency uh, management plan that has been reviewed uh, by our uh, director of emergency management uh, andy ball um, as well as um, the uh, staff of the museum. Uh, one of the things that we're proud to be able to announce that we were just able to confirm within the last few hours is that uh, the weather will be monitored not only by the National Weather Service but a National Weather Service meteorologist from Paducah who will be on site during the course of the entire event. Uh, this is very critical. Uh, obviously at this time of year we deal with a lot of different um, uh, weather events and uh, very happy to be able to have their support on site uh, providing us all the up-to-date um, uh, information regarding that. Uh, at this time, Judge, I'd like if, if you all would like have any questions uh, for the event uh, with their staff uh, to be able to open that up. Uh, Commissioners, any question or comment? I'd like to make a comment. Certainly. Last year was my first tour, and um, a lot of the people there just gave a lot of praises on how clean the park was and that's one thing that th that was attracting them to come back and uh, i think uh, and there was a few would like to have a few more picnic tables i don't know if you have but you, know, you can't have them for everybody but i just wanted to share that with a great job and a lot of compliments i didn't hear any negatives thank you thank you very proud to host the event any any other comment one thing I'd like to say, Ross, is since we have started having security provided by the Sheriff's Department, it seems like that things have gone very smooth. I've had a lot of comments from people who bring their kids to this event, and they feel very safe. So I've got a couple of Sheriff's deputies back here that I would like to say 
thank you, and I know you'll pass it on to the sheriff. Um, let's get to Rompin. <coughs> right? Right. <laughs> okay. If there's no other comment by the commission, any comment, any anyone from the Bluegrass Museum have anything to say? Don't feel like you have to. <laughs> Come come up so people can hear you. Giles, I'm executive director. I just want to say it's obviously a very collaborative effort with the county and the city and um, and all the folks involved. And so we're very appreciative of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, Chris, before you, I think it was before you got here. Mark, was it last year, or year before last? We rebuilt that entrance to make it safer, where people could get in and out, and it made a tremendous difference last year. I think so. Let's, let's hope that we have some good weather and let's hope that El Nino gets out of here and leaves us alone. If there are no other questions, did you have a question, Commissioner? All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. aye opposed, motion carries, thanks. <coughs> Next item, Jenny. F, waste tire grant agreement. Motion approved. Second. I have a motion second. David, do you wanna explain this to us? Yes, this is an annual grant that we apply for. We use it uh, not only uh, to help uh, certain, into, uh, certain situations that we run into of getting rid of their tires, but we also use it internally when uh, we have open dumps or the road department finds tires at the uh, edge of the road. We use this uh, grant money to help subsidize or underwrite those costs. Now, do you know or not, I'm, I'm under the impression it was that this was for non-commercial tires that you this is bring. a different program okay that, th this is not the program where um the state sets up on site to yes. take tires this is where we pick up tires okay. okay uh and so they they can be it's any tire we run across including okay. uh passenger tires on the sides of roads right. i think mark you all have had occasion sure. to, to use this and so when when they bring them to us we use this money to subsidize that cost okay. And, 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 but you are correct, in, in, in some cases though, this is even for commercial tires if we run across those. Okay, question or comment by the commission? Question or comment by the public? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye, aye. opposed, motion carries. G, resolution nine, 2016, regarding Kentucky Office of Homeland Security grant applications, which include body armor, taser replacements, firearms training ammunition, Whitesville USF receiver station, and a tornado siren. All of these are individual applications. Move to approve, second. I have a motion, second. Uh, commissioners, it's pretty self-explanatory what we're doing there. Uh, I do have a uh, representative from the sheriff's office if you would have any question. Uh, I can tell you that last year we received a grant for a, a uh, weather siren and uh, were successful then. Hope that we are on all of these grant uh, applications this year. Any question or comment? There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. H, declare an emergency <coughs> circumventing the bid process and purchase a mic remanufactured engine from Bomac truck of Evansville. Move to approve, second. I have a motion, second. Uh, commissioners, typically we don't do this. We like to go through the bid process. In this case, we had one of the uh, road tractors that, that pull um, garbage, I guess, or refuse from the transfer station out to the landfill blew an engine uh, in consulting with the transfer station and with uh, Mr. Smith, we decided the best thing to do would be to replace that engine with a like engine from the manu truck manufacturer who happened to be Mack. Uh, we are allowed to do this in an emergency situation and what makes an emergency, we need that truck on the road. So that's why I have made that recommendation. Any question or comment? Claude, I am correct. Yes, Judge, as long as there's an emergency, you can do that. Okay. And the uh, emergency would be that if we can't haul the trash, we pack. We, we, we can't, and, and to go through our bid process would take quite a while. It would take to, at least 30 it. days. Yes, and we can't wait 30 days, so. I thought we got, I thought we got prices from, we at least got prices from different vendors, right? Well, remember, this is a Mack truck, Mack engine. 
as opposed to getting a, a price from some third party manufacturer. Yes, I mean, but go it, ahead. One of the other issues we have is, as you point out, Mac is a sole source. Right. So we would have run into that problem, but we did investigate. Rebuilt, uh, we rebuilt we the engine and some uh, other issues. Right, finding um, engines off of old trucks. Uh, Kelly Rhodes, our mechanic, spent quite a bit of time, I believe, on the phone, not only researching, trying to find used engines out there, right. but even used trucks that we would maybe purchase the truck and, and just use the engine out of it. So, um, but all of those cases, we, we just felt the best thing to do would be just to get a remanufactured engine. This, this truck is six years? Yeah. Six yes, years sir. old. That's why I would recommend that we put an, another engine in it because it still has some good life in the body, tra drive train, all that. So on the upside of a, of a, if I understand the material I was given before this meeting is, is the, this doing what we're about to do, mm -hmm. uh, comes with a two year warranty versus, is yes. that right? Vers That's versus correct. We will have a two year warranty <coughs> and we're only going to keep the truck four to five years. Right. right, and if we were to take an engine out of another truck and put it in here, we wouldn't have it's it. It's as anymore. is, right. Right. correct. You, uh, on some of the ones uh, I think he investigated, you would maybe have a, a two-month warranty. Mm -hmm. Now, if we bought a truck, you're correct, we'd have no warranty, right. but if you bought a, an engine from a, uh, a parts company, uh, it would maybe carry at most 60 days. Okay. We, uh, we take very seriously going through the proper steps and acquiring products but and i can tell you in our five and a half years uh, up here i can only think of maybe one other time where we declared an emergency and and went ahead and moved it so if there's no other question any question or comment by the public there being none all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. aye. opposed motion carries i hire jonathan l heath as a firefighter EMT, effective June 2nd, 2016, subject to successful completion of pre-employment screenings. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion and second. Uh, Chief, you want to tell us a little bit about Mr. Heath and what we went through to hire him? Thank you, Judge. Uh, yes, we uh, had uh, nine applicants to start out with, and uh, we uh, narrowed it down and interviewed three, Commissioner Castlin and Ms. Hardesty, and uh, Myself and my three assistant chiefs, we interviewed these candidates. Uh, we felt Jonathan is, uh, was the best qualified candidate. He has a, his associate's degree in fire science, which includes a hazmat technician level training. Uh, he's a volunteer with the St. Joe Fire Department, and uh, he's a national registered EMT. Mm -hmm. um, I think Commissioner Caslin uh, would agree that uh, all the applicants were uh, very, very good, and the future is still bright for the fire department. Okay. I would concur with that assessment. Uh, Chief, was he a volunteer at one of our stations? Yes, St. Joe Fire Department. Okay, we yes. continue to pull from those volunteer stations. Yes. To and and also we uh, we really look at the uh, the fire science degree at Orangeburg right. Community College, and he. He was a graduate with his associates. So, would you say that 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 gives somebody a leg up when they're applying yes, sir. Yes, to sir. make sure that they've already done that, as opposed to waiting for them to go through? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other question or comment? There being none. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed. <clears throat> Motion carries. Jay, hire Kelsey Calhoun as a part-time animal control attendant effective on or after June 2nd, 2016 and upon successful completion of pre-employment screenings. Motion approved. Second. second. I have a motion and second. Mr. Smith, you were involved in this one, I think. Surprisingly not. This was a part-time situation I don't think we interviewed, but, oh, but okay. I, I can say that, that this uh, young lady did uh, work at the shelter because she was part of the vet tech program and she yes. got her hours at the shelter and so I think she's graduated and uh, so she has decided to at least begin working here it's a part-time position so that's we, that's pretty I, I don't cool. know for sure how long we'll have her because yeah. uh, we know those vet techs are in high demand right. but that's that's pretty cool that we took Cole Severance money put that program into place and now we're able to hire one of those folks to work in a real life situation so okay any other question or comment there being none all in favor signify by saying aye aye, aye. opposed motion carries okay hired jerry ams for the position of building and grounds maintenance move to approve second 
I have a motion and second. Commissioners, as you uh, are aware, David Harris uh, retired at the end of this, or at the end of May. Uh, we opened up the position of uh, building and grounds maintenance uh, internally, and Mr. Ams <coughs> applied for it. He came from road department, I think, and uh, told me that his boss out there wasn't near as good as his boss here would be. So we uh, want to say thank you, Mr. Ams, for staying with us and coming along. I assume, Mark, that we will get a request to advertise for a new road department person. Uh, yes, we'll first uh, probably promote into that position. Okay. He was already an operator, and then we'll fill in. Okay. Any question or comment, commissioners? <coughs> There being none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item three, ordinances A, second reading of 5, 2016, fiscal year 1617, Davis County budget. Move to approve. Second. I have a motion, second. Mr. Hendricks. I'll read the appropriation for each fund. There will be a revenue amount of the exactly the same fund. Uh, the second reading amounts are are the same as the first reading there were no changes dlg has reviewed uh, the budget and they have approved it as to form and classification and with that i'll proceed uh, well i will also say that the budget assumes that there are no additional taxes and there are no tax increases general fund dollars 24 million nine hundred twenty two thousand and thirty two dollars road fund four million six hundred fourteen thousand seven ninety three Detention Center, $8,039,500. The LGEA Fund, $750,000. Bond Fund, $4,304,000. Solid Waste Fund, $16,784,800. Economic Development Fund, $1,004,000. And the Health Insurance Fund, $3,701,100 for a total budget of $64,120,225. The ordinance will be published in a local paper uh, within 30 days and it will become effectively effective immediately upon passage and publication. Judge, this is the second reading. Commissioners, question or comment? You know, I, I think uh, as you look at other local governments throughout the state struggle in passing a budget, number one, we're fortunate that we have a surplus where we can do the things that we need to do for our citizens, and we're fortunate that we can pass a, a balanced budget uh, without having to take away from one department to give to the other. Um, it, I think it says a lot to all the employees that we have working for Davis County Fiscal Court and those supervisors and the department managers, they do an excellent job. And above all, I think it says a lot for the county commissioners here and the way that you guys watch these funds. You truly treat the public tax dollar as if it was your own, as if it were coming out of your own pocket. And I think that's what governments need to do. And I can tell you that that's what this government tries and strives to do every day. So any question or comment? I just like to make a comment uh, thanking you, Judge, because I know you work very hard looking at this and, and getting the correct information back to us. So as a good leader, uh, we'll appreciate what you do as well. Thank you, Commissioner. I appreciate that. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. And by the way, you're not getting any extra road money for saying that. <laughs> For consideration for discussion, a other business to be brought before the Davis County Fiscal Court. This is a time during our meeting that we invite. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. This is other business. Oh, this is other business. Well, we never have any other business. No, sir, we don't. <laughs> All right, let's go. B, public comments. This is the time during our meeting in which we ask the public to come forward, identify themselves at the podium, and they're welcome to speak on any subject other than what was on the agenda tonight doesn't look like Mr. Public is here this evening. Next item. Comments by Davis Fiscal Court. Commissioner Coger, I don't think you can top that last comment, but go ahead and try. <laughs> well, my comment is, is uh, <clears throat> I'd like for the residents to be patient with us. Uh, we were hearing a lot of complaints with all the water and flooding and overflowing of ditches and, and uh, even getting into some of the residents' house. And 
I know uh, uh, today Mark and I went out and looked at a couple places, and, uh, you know, we just can't do anything about the water. So the uh, only thing I can say is be patient and uh, give us time to see if we can uh, work the problems out. Okay. Very well top said. It. Did I top it? Uh, well, that was well said. Let's put it that way. Uh, <laughs> Commissioner Watson. Uh, I just feel like I need to mention the fact that we should congratulate Davis County for the, winning the regional, and which means now they're going on to the state tournament. And uh, Davis County softball or sorry, baseball? Davis County. So, is oh. there any? I thought the. Oh, all there's all nothing other than softball, right? Oh. Right. Davis County is softball. <laughs> that that was being played uh, right now. Hour. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, Davis County softball was is will be going to state. Apollo came in second in the region, and uh, they did a great job. So congratulations to them. Okay. Commissioner Castlin. I don't have anything. Uh, just a couple of things. And the first one I want to start off with is is to thank all those organizations that held uh, Memorial Day services commemorating veterans and first responders. <laughs> I know that all the commissioners and myself attended many of, of those. Um, e each year, uh, Commissioner Castle, I think you and your son Daniel read the name, 307, six, six 306 names of veterans who had passed away this past year and fewer and fewer of them are World War II veterans because we're losing them in, in droves but uh, I do thank all the all the folks that put those on I want to say a special thanks to them. Uh, Commissioner Castlin and I attended an Eagle Scout ceremony for Will Keller and I don't know if uh, commissioners you remember Mr. Keller came mm -hmm. as part of his citizenship badge uh, attended a fiscal court meeting and uh, I said if you invite me I will come and he invited me and Commissioner Castlin and we went and it was a very moving experience. Will Keller you are a sharp young fella with a lot of get up and go and I appreciate what you will do. Notice I said will do for our community because I know you're going to do great things. Uh, we're replacing a lot of pipes, I guess, Mark, still in the road, preparing for a, another uh, tremendous paving season. Uh, so if you happen to be on that road or travel that road where we're working, please be patient again uh, because we will, uh, we will get it paved. It just takes us a while. Jenny just passed over to me. She wants me to remind you that our next meeting is June the 23rd, not June the 16th. That meeting will be at 4 p.m., not 5 p.m. So June the 23rd at 4 p.m. The last thing, commissioners, uh, doggone it, folks, I still continue to get anonymous letters. And particularly regarding property maintenance and some other issues that perhaps you have with your neighbors. We do not act on anonymous complaints. Certainly you could call a commissioner and talk to him. You could call me and talk to me. But when the complaint comes in anonymously, I have no way of getting back to you and asking questions, nor do I have any way of getting back to you and talking to you about the results that that letter may have generated. So we do not act on anonymous complaints. So if you have an issue that you feel strongly about, contact one of us on fiscal court. I promise we don't bite. Uh, we won't ridicule you. We will take that complaint seriously. The uh, Commissioner Coger, I want to reiterate what you said. We have had a, just a tremendous amount of rain um, last night up on the east end of I mean, it just came a gully washer up there. And the West End, I don't think, got much of anything. Uh, as uh, County Engineer Brasher and I drove around in the south and eastern part of the county, it came a gully washer again this afternoon. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just the, the ditches are ditches for a reason, so that when we get gully washers, the water will come out of the banks. If you put a pipe in those ditches, then it backs up and blocks roads and highways and washes out bridges. So uh, 
Last item, Jenny, is to talk about some uh, June employee anniversaries. We have Jeffrey Poole, a firefighter EMT. He served 10 years. Kenneth Borman, senior, uh, and Eddie Red, or I'm sorry, Kenneth Borman and Eddie Reddish. Uh, Kenneth Borman is a senior heavy equipment operator at 10 years, and Eddie Reddish is a senior heavy equipment operator with five years. I want to thank them for staying with Davis County Fiscal Court. Uh, all of our employees are extremely valuable and do an excellent job. If there's no other business to be brought before Davis County Fiscal Court without exception, we're adjourned.